Amazon recently announced that it will no longer allow users of its Echo devices to keep the company from getting the recordings after you say Alexa. A lot of people met this news with a big shrug. Everyone was saying, who cares if somebody at Amazon is listening to me asking Alexa to turn off the lights or set a timer for muffins? And really in a vacuum, who cares? None of that stuff is that sensitive and you're probably never gonna remember that you said it. But a lot of these arguments basically boil down to, if you have nothing to fear, you have nothing to hide. And this is what's known as a logical fallacy and it's used against privacy protections all the time. The issue is that you probably don't actually know what you have to fear or what you have to hide. And that's why you should actually care about Amazon getting the recordings from everything you say after you enable Alexa. The first issue I think is that you probably don't actually know what's being recorded when you enable Alexa. It might just be you asking it to turn on a timer, but it could also be capturing stuff in the background that might be sensitive. Maybe you've read off credit card numbers or maybe you've said anything that you might not actually want another human being to hear. Most of us aren't paying attention to everything that's uttered in our own homes all the time. That's why it's so dangerous to have a, basically a surveillance device in your kitchen or your living room. The other issue is that you just don't know how those recordings are gonna be used after it gets sent to Amazon. It could be stolen by hackers and leaked. And if you did say something embarrassing, that might not be great for your life. It could be used to make an AI voice clone of you and then used to scam your family. And that's probably unlikely. Both of those scenarios are probably unlikely and Amazon would probably say that unlikely. But it really just comes down to creating risk unnecessarily. Why do you have to even have that in your life? You don't. The third issue is more broad and it means caring about privacy as a concept and caring about privacy for other people even if you don't care about it that much. Every erosion of privacy, meaning anytime we allow a company to record something or capture data on us that we don't really care about in a bubble, generally erodes privacy overall. You can see that over the course of the life of the internet, privacy has become something that is almost non-existent in a lot of different ways in our lives. So there's always value in pushing back against any time a company wants to take a little bit more, especially when it already offered some more privacy protections. Finally, you don't know actually what Amazon is necessarily going to do with that data. Amazon has had to pay tens of millions of dollars for storing the recordings of children's voices forever. It's faced scandal for allowing employees to listen to up to a thousand hours of people's recordings over the course of a single shift. And Amazon readily admits that it allows employees to listen to Alexa recordings to train its speech recognition systems and its natural language models. So that's not necessarily a good thing either. That's not to say that echoes are bad or that they're not useful. They're certainly convenient. And if you're a person with a disability, they can really help you do things that you might not otherwise be able to. So it doesn't mean you have to throw out your Alexa device. It's more that you should care about what data is being created about you. And you should push back anytime a company tries to take away some privacy protections that it previously offered. It only helps you to do that. And it doesn't help anybody but Amazon or another company if you don't push back on it.